right, I warmed up. And I think right here I'm starting with the 60s. Or is that the 65s? Roll my shoulders back, kick back, lay back. Get my legs in a position where I can have leg drive. And I press. You know, I bounced up with my legs a little bit right there, but I was making sure they was in the right position. And this is just warm-up sets anyways. This isn't any heavy weight to me. Easy reps. But I'm flexing my chest, and I'm flexing my triceps, and I'm flexing. Staying tight. Making it feel heavy. I want results. You know what I'm saying? So you see me do the 65s, but I didn't start with the 65s. I started with the 40s. You know what I'm saying? Super duper duper light, but like I say, make it feel heavy. Put the emphasis on it. You know what I'm saying? And then I moved up to the 47.5s. I didn't get those on camera because I felt like it wasn't necessary. But I do need to show you that I moved up to that and then so on and so forth. And then I moved to the 65s. That's what you just saw me do. Then I was going to do the 75s next, the 85 next, and on and on. 10 pound increments then the 95s or the hundreds matter how i feel during that set that's the plan then go ahead and move up to this uh, rack right here and the goal for the day is these 125s which is the heaviest dumbbells we got in the gym i have my phone on charger in between sets and take it off because my phone was low battery i'm actually got it on the charger right now in my car doing this voiceover there's my tripod slash energy it was just juice. I already took my pre-workout and everything before the gym, you know, 15, 20 minutes before the gym on my way to the gym or however you want to do it. I wouldn't recommend taking it at the gym. You want the energy. You don't want to, you know what I'm saying, get energized after the gym. You try to use that energy in the gym. Bear with me, y'all. I'm walking to go get the uh, weights. There we go. Like I say, I flex like that. I put them on my legs. I don't lock my knees out. It looked like I did, but I straightened my legs. Kind of use myself as a lever. You know what I'm saying? You want to learn how to really, like, get on the bench when you're doing, especially before you can do heavy weights. You don't need us. You want to make it to where you don't need nobody around. I don't need a spotter. I don't need nobody. That's I'm I'm not a people person anyways. So, and y'all see the mistake that I'm making? Same mistake if y'all seen the last video. Look at my head. My head was halfway off the bench. Look, I'm about to point it out. My head, halfway off the bench. It wasn't as big as a problem this time because that wasn't really, really heavy weights. You know what I'm saying? Last time I had the, what was it, 110s. And so here I go. I skipped a bunch of weights because a lot of people are starting to come into the gym. I'm not getting them on my camera or nothing like that. Conversations have been had. You know, I don't know if you can see the frustration on my face, but yeah, roll up, roll back. You want to take a few, you want to take your time and get on the bench right. You know what I'm saying? So get back. This time my head is where I want it to be. Not exactly. I want it to be a little bit more on there, but those are the 100 pound dumbbells. That's not really that heavy to me on a flat bench. Like I say, I be doing the 125s like it's nothing. Um, Matter of the gym atmosphere. And more and more people are coming in. Here's what I want to show you. See how the heavy dumbbells are here? You want your bench to be facing the heavy dumbbells. You don't want your bench to be way on the other side of the gym if you're doing heavy dumbbells. I do that a lot, especially when the gym is packed. But And that's part of my workout. I feel like I'm, I'm doing heavy farmer walks, whatever, with dumbbells all the way from over here to over here. But if I'm really going for the heaviest dumbbells in the gym, especially when I'm only 190 pounds right now, if I was 230, it wouldn't matter. I wouldn't matter if the... My bench was outside. I'll go, you know what I'm saying? Okay, wipe your fingertips. You see that? I wipe my fingertips on my shirt, especially when I'm going heavy. You do not want slippery hands. And you see how I scoot it up? That's my way of keeping my head on the bench. I scoot up first. I screw my legs into the ground. Look at the calf muscle. People are like, man, your leg's skinny. But look at the definition. You ain't seen my whole leg. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it's an optical illusion a lot too. My big, my upper body. Okay, I'm, I'm wiggling. I'm getting my legs. I'm getting everything right. Get my mind right. Get mad a little bit. You got to get mad. Roll up. But yeah, it's an optical illusion. And plus, I got big shorts on. You ain't seen the upper part of my leg. You know what I'm saying? People, oh, your legs ain't. Show me your legs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I guarantee you. And I'm pressing. 
See, my head is, is, is still kind of not where I want it to be. But I almost failed at that right there. Like I said, I had like a 10-minute conversation. And you're not supposed to drop the weights, which I never do. You see that? I did my hand in a talking motion. I'm saying people was talking. And then the way I set it up right there on that bench, I was trying to show y'all. So I'm kind of like talking to y'all in my head, thinking about what I'm going to say, what I do my voiceover right here, what I'm doing. And uh, yeah, so I switch angles. Switch angles every once in a while, spice it up. Especially when I'm barbell benching, I'll be switching angles every time. And this is one of the reasons why my barbell benching is failing because at this gym I'm at now in Anderson, um, it's different than the one I'm in when I'm in Clemson. See how heavy the weights are? <laughs> Struggling to get them off. Now you want to, I mastered using a mirror to look at where I'm at when I'm walking backwards. You got to know where you at because you go, you're going to trip, this and that and the third. Okay, I think these was the 110s or the 120s. No, those was the 110s first. This is the 120s. And then I was going to go to the 125s. You want to take your time. People are staring at me. They're not in the film or whatever, but they're staring at me. They're looking at me. They're talking. They're saying whatever they're saying about me. I don't even have music on. I'm just because I use my phone to record. So I'm not, I don't even have music on. But get ready. The heavier you go, the more you got to get ready. You know what I'm saying? You don't just play with these are heavy weights. You know what I'm saying? They're called heavy weight for a reason. They're heavy. People that don't lift heavy, they look at it the same. These are not them 40, 50, 60 pound dumbbells that y'all over there pressing, dog. And I, I wanted to say that, but you know, look, they're heavy. But you could tell it's not a max. See, that took a long time. I was frustrated at this time. I was like, man, F it, man. I'm done. Done, I'm done, I'm done. I'm tired of failing, though. I'm tired of y'all seeing me fail. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I always gotta, I'm tired of saying this, too. Watch my other videos because you see me press them a lot of times. A thousand times, I got a video titled this. I got a video. Go watch my other bench press videos and this and that and third. But still, I mean, I still mean that. But I'm tired of having to say that. I want y'all to see it on this video. You know what I'm saying? So, hold on, wait. I did another try? Or did I... Oh, I see what I did. I must have did the same scene twice. But F it. Bear with me. I'm going to redo that. Okay. Let's talk again. Okay. Put it on your legs. Do like that. You know what I'm saying? It's a technique to everything. Even picking them up off the ground if you drop them. But yeah, you shake your head. You don't got to shake your head. But I'm getting right. I'm trying to shake off the conversation I just had. You know what I'm saying? Not just chilling. Might look like I'm chilling, but on the inside it's a fire burning. You know what I'm saying? I guess it wasn't burning hot enough. Yeah, I mean, I got the same scene twice, I think. I don't know. It made it made the video a little bit longer. But no, I got a whole speech at the end, so stick to the end. You know what I'm saying? I explained everything that I just did, you know? Or everything I just went through. But look how big my arms are. <laughs> But that's the optical illusion I was talking about. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. It shouldn't have been that heavy. This second rep, which was, I think, the last rep. Yeah, here I go. I grab my stuff. Frustrated. You know, grab my juice. Do the little walk of shame out of the gym. Even though I just outlifted everybody that had criticism. Even my, if, even my fails are better... Well, now I say um, my, my best success is your worst blunder. No, your best success is my worst blunder. If that's true, leave me alone. You know what I'm saying? People over there dumbbell pressing the 40-pound dumbbells, criticizing somebody that's doing three times as much weight in each hand than they are. They over there with bad form, about to injure themselves. That's why I work out at the times I work out. My mistake was I left the house at almost three o'clock. You know what I'm saying? I ain't started working out. I warmed up real good. You know what I'm saying? I had to, I mean, it's winter time. It isn't that cold right now. You know, I'm in South Carolina. It's like 33 degrees. To them, it's cold. To me, it's kind of cold too now because I've been down here since 08. But, uh, yeah, um, I warm up real good if I'm warm, if I'm, um, and plus I just woke up. So, Excuses, excuses, but I'm tired of having to have excuses every time I do a video. And that's another thing. When I'm not doing a video, you know what I'm saying? My lips e usually be better. You know what I'm saying? But like they say, man, 
if a tree falls in the woods, ain't nobody around, does it actually make a sound? Riddle me that, Batman. But no, man, it's, it's killing me, man. Like, leave me alone in the gym, man. People talk too much. People's favorite place to be is in the way. I say that a million times. Man. All right, y'all. I'm done. Mm. Take my good trusty headphones off. Um, I think they on, so that's kind of my mic right now, so I don't want to put them far. But as you can see, it's almost 5 o'clock. Um, I left. My problem was, and the reason why I couldn't get that, I always got an excuse, but look at the time. It's almost 5 o'clock. I ain't going to point at people's cars and nothing like that. I don't want to get people on my camera or nothing like that. But people are coming in. And in between them last sets, that's why, like I said, in between um, when I was showing y'all what weights I was going to jump up to, I was going to go from, what was it, the 65s to the 75s to the 85s. Oh, I didn't do any of those. I just started jumping higher and higher, <laughs> which threw me off for one. And for two, the heavier I went, when I got into them hundreds, um, well, was it 90s? Whatever I did before the 100s and the hundreds and on and so forth, people kept on getting in conversations with me. And I kept getting out of the conversations, but you don't want to talk too long to try to get out of the conversation. I kind of try to do it with body language. Um, I really need an oil change. It says 711 miles. It's a brand new car, but still, like, <clears throat> I don't like that. But, uh, yeah, what I was saying was um, people love to do that for some reason. They be in the gym. They come in the gym early. Yeah, I'm going to get it bright and early. I'm, I'm enthusiastic. But you ain't doing nothing. You're talking. They talk to each other. They talk to me. I got big old headphones on that cover my ears. I don't have earbuds. And a lot of people, they say, oh, people, um, people don't bother me. People don't bother me when I come to the gym. Maybe because you're one of the people that like to talk. Or maybe you're one of the people that don't like to talk, but you don't lift heavy weights. That's the thing. If I stuck with the 65s, which is way too light for me, people would be like, oh, why don't you just stick with those then? Because they're too light for me. That's warm-up weight. If I, well, I'm going to do a million warm-up sets, no, I'm not too more hard and saying I'm the strongest guy in the world. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? We got 125s in the gym. They're pretty heavy to me right now. But I got plenty of videos. One of my videos titled Pressing the Heaviest Dumbbells in the Gym. I got plenty of videos of me pressing those. I think I even got one uh, when I was pressing them on incline. I might, might not. I don't know. That's why I kind of think about, like, I want to cut right now, but then I want to bulk. Then I don't know if I want to just go ahead and dirty bulk a little bit. Not to prove nothing to nobody else, but I love lifting heavy weights. It satisfies me. You know what I'm saying? Whether you think it's beneficial or not, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to do me. You know what I'm saying? You do you. I'm going to do me. And that's the problem in the gym. Nobody wants, you, you lifting new heavy weights. Dude, I don't even know. I ain't never seen him in my life. I kind of had to mean mug him a little bit because he was about to, he was about to come and talk to me while I had the 120s. You know what I'm saying? I had almost fell with the 110s. Y'all seen that. I don't edit out my losses. Just like on gambling. When I lose, a lot of people on gambling channels, you would think they always win. No, they're just posting their wins. They're not posting the lose. You know what I'm saying? I don't watch nobody that don't post their losses. When it comes to lifting, when it comes to anything. You know what I'm saying? If you don't post your losses, I'm not watching you. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? If I fail at a heavy deadlift and I was recording it, I'm posting it. If I fail at a heavy bench press, squat, whatever, I'm posting I want to show you everything. You know what I'm saying? I want to... I want to let you learn from, you know what I'm saying, mistakes. Like I said, my head was off the bench on that one set. Just like last, um, my last video, same thing. And that's another thing I wanted to touch on. Um, my last video was um, dumbbell pressing, just like this one. That doesn't mean I'm just dumbbell pressing. That doesn't mean that I'm not hitting legs. That doesn't mean I'm not hitting back. I've hit those. I just didn't record them because I've been going in the daytime. I don't like to record when there's a million people in the gym. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, y'all comment, like, subscribe, and share. I'm gonna have to um go ahead and do my voiceover, go ahead and get the video right. Yeah, I'm sorry for the uh <laughs> fails. I know y'all wanted to see me do the 125s, man. But I think if I'd have did them, I would have failed. I would have injured myself. If I can't even do the 110s, the 120s, 
I think 115s, the way I was feeling the 115s would have been the right choice. But, you know, I skipped right past the 115s. I skipped a whole bunch of numbers. I was out of my groove. I was out of my element. You know, skipping like that could be good or bad. You know what I'm saying? But when I don't, when I plan to do another way and I uh, switch it up, mid scene, improvisational skills. Sometimes it go good. Sometimes it go bad. But you gotta take, you gotta pay attention to your body. You don't want to be playing with those. Those are heavy. You know what I'm saying? There's a reason they're called. You know, heavy weights. You know what I'm saying? Those are not like dumbbells. Those are the heaviest dumbbells in the gym. Even some steroid heads can't really lift those. You know what I'm saying? Y'all get it, but you know, people that lift get it. People that want to, people that don't lift, they that's trying to get into lifting. Y'all need to understand that. You know what I'm saying? Look at the time, man. I gotta go.